When putting your folder and project back together, there are some general housekeeping tips that you should keep in mind. A thing called absolute paths and relative path. Relative path is if you had a blender file and it's in a directory and you had a bunch of textures in the same directory, those textures are in relative path to the blend file. If you have your blend file somewhere else on your like network and then your texture somewhere else that's called an absolute path so you have to absolutely tell it where to go if it's relative it's within the same folder that's the most that's the smartest way to do it is have the blender file with the textures now those textures could be in subfolders and I'll show you what that means but um, in most cases it should be in the same pathway or relative folder. Now, you know, I've, throughout the years of texture rendering and lighting and dealing with students, how they don't save their files the correct way and things called project files, let me tell you this. This is a very important video to watch, okay? So, um, here for example, this brick texture. This brick texture is somewhere on my hard drive right now if I was to save this file in the folder and zip it up and give it to let's say a person called Bob and Bob opens it up if I know what I'm doing correctly it should open up on Bob's computer 100 percent with no ifs ands or buts about it now if you're a total noob and you save it for Bob's computer, of course you're going to be spending three days trying to figure out why it's not putting together correctly. And it's all in absolute or relative path structure. For example, I can click on the brick and I can go to the material. Material, you know, I got brick and roof, right? Under the texture, however, for brick, oh no, this is roof, I have the name of the texture, in this case, I can name this anything, roof. That doesn't hurt anything. But down below, it says building roof TGA. Well, what happens is building roof TGA is located right here and it's in the same structure as building. So this is my blender file. Here is my texture. It's in the same folder. So that means it's a relative path to that file. So I have here forward slash forward slash building underscore roof period TGA. Do I need to know how to do this? Well, not really. Let's say I have a messy project it's all put together haphazardly, not knowing the structure at all. Okay? I don't know if some are relative, some are absolute. An absolute path would be like C drive program files, blah, 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 building roof TGA. So I'll show you what that looks like. If I go in here and I uncheck relative path and I say building roof TGA and accept you now see that I have an absolute path to the file because it states C users unity folder game. So if Bob doesn't have the exact folder, the exact naming, and case sensitivity, it will not work. Luckily, Blender has put in this nifty little thing called file, external data, and you can say make all paths relative and click and you can see that it fixes the absolute to make it relative now when I save it out and close it out altogether I should be able to very quickly open it back up as long as Blender launches. yeah. So I should be able to go open, hit this, hit open, and everything loads correctly. 
So that is relative versus absolute. That is one thing I wanted to point out as a general housekeeping thing. In the next video, I also have another housekeeping thing that I want to take care of, but I wanted to keep it on two separate videos.